All right, let's go back to this column right here, hybridization. How are we going to figure that out? All right, well, there is a column here on this page that tells you the hybridization. Okay, so the hybridization is going to depend on, again, the shared versus unshared pairs. Okay, so let's look at our notes here where this is number seven. So right here, if we're going to look at our Vesper chart here and locate 3, 0, and again, we're talking about this guy right here, all right, so we determined he was trigonal planar, 3, 0, and so if I go to hybridization, it says SP2, okay, so that's what we're going to write, SP2, but what does that mean? Okay, so what is hybridization? The idea that atomic orbitals will overlap to form new hybrid orbitals, that's where this word comes from, called sigma and pi bond. So it's just like the 1s2, 2s2 from the electron configurations. Okay, so how do we determine this? So we're going to distribute the electron pairs into the s and p orbitals. Okay, so the valence electrons which are being shared between the atoms, and the distribution goes as follows. The first pair goes in an s orbital up to three additional pairs in the P, and the remaining pairs will go in a D. We will not talk about F orbitals, okay? So let's go back to here, all right? So this first pair goes in the S, the second pair goes in a P, and the third pair goes in a P. That's why he's SP2. Right? Let's look at another one. What about this guy? First pair, because we're talking about fluorine, because he's the central atom. Hydrogen can't be your central atom. So first pair goes in S. Then we've got a P, a P, and a P. So guess what? He's SP3. Now we already determined he's linear. So on these, where the shared versus unshared doesn't match up, you're going to have to count up your hybridization. All right, let's check this one. First pair, because we're going to call a double bond, one pair is an S. Next pair is a P, P. So he is SP2. But I already knew that because he's a 3, 0. So those I can just look on here and it will tell me. Um, ignore hybridization for these that say linear. Do not use this one if there's just two atoms. Okay, the other ones we will count up though. All right, so I'm not going to give you anything higher than an sp3. All right, so see if you can figure out all the hybridization, and we will talk about polarity in the next video.